Yo tengo una abuela que fue vendida como por mil, bueno, que fue que la dote de ella fue como mil chivos, 200 cabezas de ganado, no sé cuántas mulas y burros. Chivito, 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 chivito. When I was studying in Bogotá, in the university, whenever I say, oh, nice to meet you, I'm Maya, I'm from La Guajira, all the guys, listen up, all the guys used to tell me, oh, wow, so you're from La Guajira, so how many chivos, how many goats, like this one, I need to marry you. And I remember, guys, that I used to say, are you kidding me? That happens in the Guayu culture. I'm from La Guajira, but I am not a Guayu. She's Iraima and Silvia. So they are going to answer that question that many people ask me for like 15 years that I was in Bogota. Guys, <laughs> she is from the Wayu community. And of course we have to ask her because I am not a Wayu. Maybe I have Wayu blood here. I would love to have it. De pronto por, por tus ancestros quizás. Silvia said that maybe I have ancestors. I'm going to ask my, my grandma Nina because I would love to be, to have something, you know, Wayu, something. So Maya, get to the point, the question. Hay que entender qué es la dote, como se llama en, como se dice en español, sí. que en Guayú, en Guayú no hay que es pagná. Pagná. Sí, es, es lo que se entrega, es el patrimonio del hombre que se le entrega a la familia de la mujer. Ok, let, let's come over here because I think that this is beautiful. <laughs> Guys, this place is called La Ranchería and this is the place in which the Guayú community lives. This is the perfect place to have this conversation. Y generalmente, ¿qué es la dote? Generally, What they give. El guayú ah. tiene eh, su riqueza está representada en animales, uh. ganado, vacas, toros, mulas, burros, chivos y ovejos. Ese cúmulo de animales es lo que se le entrega al el hombre, la familia del hombre se le entrega a la familia de la mujer. ¿Cuánto debo pagar por una mujer? ¿O cuánto cuesta una mujer? Desde el que no es guayú, lo ve, la, esa es la pregunta que se hace y del guayú no es cuánto cuesta una mujer, sino cuál es el patrimonio que le voy a dejar a mi familia y a mis hijos en caso de que el hombre falte por un tema de fallecimiento, por uh -huh. enfermedad o porque sus cultivos no den frutos. Entonces, en, cuando pasa una crisis, ya él tiene asegurado por haber entregado ese patrimonio. Guys, you can imagine how many times I hear that joke. How many chivos I have to give for you because I like you and I want to marry you. Es triste para nosotros también que ver que otras personas crean que nosotros a nosotras nos venden cuando en realidad es todo lo contrario, nos dan el valor que realmente tenemos. Guys, I'm asking her about like how many animals should they give to the family of the woman, but she's saying that it depends of the family of the woman. More or less, I know that you want to to hear a number, you know. She's saying that her grandma la dote, de dote for her, for her grandma was a thousand chivos, thousand goats, and she said like maybe like two, like cuantos cabezas de ganado, como doscientos, mm -hmm. she like two hundred cows and more animals that she doesn't remember. And she, I'm asking her like, a, why the hell that many animals? But she's saying that it was, she belonged to a very respectful family and respect and last name is everything here, it's very important. No es impuesto, esa cantidad de, de animales no es impuesto, sino que hace parte también de un diálogo entre las dos familias, como una especie de negociación. In the whole country, we know, we just think, I include myself because I was thinking like that, oh my God, I was so dumb. So we think that maybe the woman cannot decide about what husband she's going to get. But actually they are saying that she can't do it, like a... Uh, They, they ask the woman, do you like this guy? Because he's offering you, he's offering like a thousand cows for you. So do you want to marry him? And she can say, no, I don't want to. It's not some, it's not like a, she's not forced to marry that guy if she doesn't like it. And I think that that's very important. It's amazing that she's speaking in Spanish, guys, because this is something that everybody should know. Like, you are very lucky because you have me and I can explain you these things, but actually in the whole country, we should know about this so we can stop making that awful joke. Maya, how many cows I have to give because I want to marry you? Like, I was tired of that joke and I am not even from the Wayu community. Can you imagine being from the Wayu community and being asked about those things all the time? Because people, people don't understand the culture, people don't understand the tradition, and they, the only thing that they hear is, oh, so I can buy a wife? But I don't have chivos, so 
so like I said, like, how the hell I'm gonna do it? ¿Y qué pasa? Okay, I'm gonna ask that because maybe you're, at, you, you're thinking about it. Maybe that guy doesn't even have a single rooster, a single hen, you know? Se queda soltero, uh -huh. he's gonna be single forever. En los Arijunas es un poco más individualizado. Acá en el Guayú son dos familias que se van a unir. Mm. Entonces, si, por ejemplo, la persona que me va a pretender no tiene animales o su corral es pequeño, él lo que hace es recoger con las demás familias, con padres, mm -hmm. amigos. I always tell you my channel, when you marry a Colombiana, when you marry a Latina, you are marrying the whole family. So I'm asking her, what happened if somebody doesn't have all those animals? She said that may, that guy have to put together all the animals with all the families, like with all the relatives and everybody, so they can give, they can give the dote. You know? Actually, I think that the value of the family You can see it here in the Wayu culture, but you can see it also in the Latin, the Latin culture in general. That's why I'm telling you, when you marry a Colombiana, you marry the whole family. Even if you don't like it, you are going to marry the whole family. I know Maya always asks the question that you have in mind. What hap that happens between the Wayu, like among the, the Wayu community, but what happens if somebody, a guy who is now Wayu, want to marry a woman from the Wayu culture? I know, maybe you are sitting in your home, you are sitting in your house, in your couch, and in your backyard you have, I don't know, a thousand chivos, a thousand goats. You say, mm, you know, I can, I can do, I can give that dote, but I, I don't belong to the way you community. So Maya, how I do it? So I have to ask her if they can marry with people like outside the Wayu culture. Un procedimiento parecido, tiene que acercarse a, a la familia y decirle me interesa a su hija, me quiero casar con ella, puedo ofrecerle esto y pues los padres que son Wayu entienden que de pronto va a ser difícil para él encontrar tantos animales, o sea, convierten lo que, lo que cuesta la, la dote en animales lo transfieren, digamos que, en, en dinero y tienen que entender que el, el ser guayú nos lo da nuestra madre. Entonces, al hacer la mujer eh, unirse a un hombre arijuna, sus hijos van a ser guayú. Nowadays, it's still people eh, asking for dote to the, for, eh, to the guys who, are, who want to marry a woman from the guayú culture. Actualmente, la dote, el patna todavía existe entre los guayú. Hay casos que no están aplicando la dote. ¿Y pues, ustedes están casadas? No. ¿Y la dote de ustedes? <risa> ah, guys, I'm asking, they are single. So maybe you have, I don't know, 10,000 chivos, 10,000 goats in your coral and you want, I don't know, to pay the dote for Silvia and Iraima. ¿Cuántos chivos entonces? Eso... Porque ustedes son muy respetables. Pero eso They are very no... respectful women. <risa> Eso no lo decidimos nosotras, como ya lo hemos explicado, es un tema de dos familias, la familia del hombre y la familia mía como mujer. After listening to these beautiful women, Iraima and Silvia, you know, I think that finding the animals, the cows, the chivos and all of that is going to be the easy, the, the, the easy part, you know, because I think that the most important part here is if you are willing to be part the Wayu community because you can find the you can find the animals I don't know you can put the money together or maybe you already have the animals and you can come here Silvia I'm here for you I came for you van a decir Silvia vine para ti mira aquí están todos mis animales hasta búfalos te van a traer even búfalos I don't know are you willing to be part of this community of this family you know I don't know you have to think about it guys we already learned today They are not just an item, a product that you can buy. And if you, I don't know, are going to put the, the money together of the animals together to come for Silvia and Iraima, you will have to put together maybe, I don't know, like a thousand elephants because they are very respectful, they are very smart. I think that Silvia uh, is anthropologist. She's an anthropologist and Iraima is a lawyer, you know. So you, you cannot come here with a thousand chivos and just like that ask for them. You need more than that, guys. But I'm happy that I can understand like the culture because I feel very close to, to the Wayu community. I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to ask my grandma because I swear to God that I have something Wayu in my blood. And I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. <laughs> Please support the channel so I can buy chivos for me too. I'm not going to give a dote, but I want to have chivos. They are so beautiful. And I want to eat them. I love chivos. They are so beautiful, guys. <laughs> This is about love. This is about heart. 
you cannot come here and pay the dote for Silvia and Iraima, and you cannot do that with any Colombian here, any Latina. You have to come here and win that, and win that woman heart. And, you know, that requires effort, not only a thousand chivos, because she, they already explain. Uh, they have, they, there is an agreement between the families. The woman is allowed, the woman is allowed to say, I don't like that guy. You go take you a thousand chivos because I don't want to see you. you. I don't like you, you know. So let me know what do you think, guys. Don't forget to support the channel because I want to buy chivos. I want to, I think that you already learned that word today. Uh, chivos, that means goat. And I forgot to tell you the word arijuna. Arijuna, that means people who is outside of the Wayu community, the Wayu culture. Esa es la forma de despedirse. No, I like it. Guys, they are speaking, they are speaking Wayunaiki. They have their own language, of course. And I'm telling them, hey, come on, say something in Wayunaiki. And they spend here a few seconds, like, uh, trying to plan it, like, uh, what do I want to say? What we, and then they say something, and I say, what is the meaning of that? They say, nos vamos. So that means see you. So like, uh, wow. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for something more like, I don't know, express food, like, uh, oh, I love you guys. This is amazing. No, they just say, nos vamos. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> guys, that, eh, they have a reason, and they are saying that they, what you, they, what, in the way community, they are not that expressive, like uh, they don't show that much affection. And they are saying that literally in the language, what you like, they don't say, I love you. They say, I want you for me. I don't know that. They, they go to the point, like they're straight to the point. They don't use like uh, that many words. And I think, I went that, como se dice, te quiero para mi. How, como se dice? Ta checking. Ta checking pia ta muy. 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 Ta checking. Ta checking. Ta checking. Ta checking. Ah, ta checking. Ta checking pia ta muy. Pia ta muy. Está checking, está checking, pia, está muy. Y ella, Iraima dice, toca señalar. <laughs> ¿Sí? <laughs> para mí, es que es para mí. I want you for me, guys. <laughs> no, en serio, muchas gracias. Guys, okay, I think that this is, was an amazing video. I learned a lot. I think that this is a very important video that you have to watch. And I, I you know, I didn't translate because I want to leave it in Spanish because I want Colombians. People from United States, from people from Canada, from China, from India, from all around the world to understand this beautiful culture because unfortunately there are many, many people making jokes about it, but this is not a joke, this is real. Anyway, ladies, guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for the support and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, no, oh, no, <laughs> Nosotras como Guayú no estamos a la venta. You no hear that, guys? No somos una mercancía oh, que yes. se vende, se compra ni se intercambia. Exacto.